We're asked to plot each decimal on the number line. The first decimal is 0 0.7 or 7 tenths. Notice that 0 0.7 or 7 tenths is between 0 and 1, or 0 0.7 is greater than 0 and less than 1. Let's begin by plotting 0 and 1 on the number line, where 0 is on the left and 1 is on the right. Notice how this interval has a length of one unit, so now we'll cut this interval into 10 equal subintervals, where each subinterval will have a length of 0 0.1 or 1 tenth of a unit. Where in the middle we would have 0 0.5. And now we'll cut the interval on the left and right into five equal subintervals. And again, each of these subintervals has a length of 1 tenth of a unit or 0 0.1 units. So starting on the left at 0, we have 0 and then 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and so on. And now we can plot 0 0.7 on the number line, which is here. Next we have 2.14, 2 and 14 hundredths. Because the decimal has the hundredths place value this time, we need to recognize that 2.14 is between 2.1 and 2.2, or 2.14 is greater than 2.1 and less than 2.2. So because we have the hundredths place value this time, we'll first plot 2.1 on the number line on the left and 2.2 on the right. Notice this time, this interval has a length of 1 tenth or 0 0.1 units, so now we'll cut this interval into 10 equal subintervals, where each subinterval will have a length of 1 hundredth of a unit, or 0 0.01 units. So in the middle, we have 2.15, and now we'll cut the interval on the left and right into five equal subintervals. Where again, each of these small subintervals has a length of 0 0.01 units, or 1 hundredth of a unit, so starting at 2.1, we would have 2.11, 2.12, 2.13, and so on. And now we can plot 2.14, or two and 14 hundredths, which is here on the number line, just to the left of 2.15. I hope you found this helpful.